Hey guys, welcome back to Sandy's Table with SMT Provisions. Today I'm going to show you something a little bit different that has to do with the breakfast sausage from SMT Provisions. So we are going to make a smoked fatty. You can make this in the oven or you can make it on the smoker if you have one. So for right now I have the smoker preheating to 250 degrees. We're going to cook it for one hour in there and then we're going to take it out, we're going to baste it and we're going to jack up the temperature to 325 degrees. And then we're going to cook it for another hour and a half until we get an internal temperature of 165 degrees to make sure that all of the ingredients are fully cooked 100%. So let's get started on rolling this out so we can get it onto the smoker. Use any type of barbecue seasoning that you like to use. This one that I'm using is called uh, Meat Church and it's called Holy Cow. I like that one really a lot because it gives it really good spice. So now I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna get all of this mixed in and marry all these flavors together. That cheese mixture is all mixed together. I have a piece of saran wrap that I'm going to just lay this all out on and then kind of form it into a log to go into the middle of that smoked fatty. So we're gonna take the, the saran wrap and we're just gonna kind of wrap it around it. And as we're wrapping it, we're gonna kind of form it into a log. You want it all to be pretty much the same size. And you're gonna get probably about a foot long. And then wrap up that other side. And then we're gonna roll up the ends. We're gonna stick this in the fridge for about 20 minutes while we get the rest of this stuff together. I have a pound and a half of thick cut bacon that we're gonna make a bacon weave with. So we're gonna lay out a few pieces going this way. Now we're gonna take the rest of it and we're gonna start doing our weave with it. So I'm gonna pull this end, this one, and this one, which is every other, up, and then lay these back down. Now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna flip up the next, the opposite ones. And lay another piece and then put them back down. And you're just gonna keep going back and forth until you have kind of a basket weave. Okay, so we have that weaved in pretty good. I did this all on a piece of parchment paper so I can just move it off to the side because now I'm gonna get another piece of parchment paper and I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna spread out the breakfast sausage on it. But first I'm gonna wash my hands. So I have one and a half pounds of the breakfast sausage that I'm just going to spread out and flatten it out into a rectangle, just like we did for our bacon. Now with all that sausage spread out, we're gonna take that cheese mixture back out of the fridge. We're gonna lay it right down the center of that sausage. So now we're gonna use that parchment paper as more or less to kind of help us get that rolled up. So you're gonna roll it over. You're gonna squish it out, pull that paper back, Roll it over again. Get that nice and close up at the ends. Make sure your ends are closed up so all that cheesy goodness that we just did is not going to leak out while it's cooking. And now we're gonna take that and move that to the side. Bring our bacon back over. And 
Now we're just gonna lay that sausage right down on there. I'm gonna squish it in a little bit so that we're able to cover the ends with some of that bacon. Now I'm gonna take it just like I did for the, for the sausage and I'm gonna use that parchment paper to help me roll it up. Okay, so now we're gonna get those ends covered up with all that bacon. Now to make your life easier when you're putting something on a smoker, instead of putting it right on the grates because you're gonna have a hard time trying to get it off, I took a kind of like a grill skillet thing and I put it right inside a tin foil pan and I'm just gonna lay it right on top. But first I'm gonna season it with some more of that barbecue seasoning. I'm just gonna sprinkle it about. You can add as much as you want. Now we're just gonna put it right inside there. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this on the smoker at 250 degrees for one hour. After an hour, I'm going to baste it with a little bit of barbecue sauce. You don't have to, you can. I feel like it just gives it a little bit more flavor. Okay, we took off this delicious, cheesy, meaty bacon goodness off in an internal top of 165. So now we're gonna cut it up and we're gonna start making plates. Ready to see the inside?